This is problems uh, uh, 19 through 22 in part 2 of the practice midterm. And the questions are for the uh, phosphorus 31, the, uh, uh, this is denoted uh, with a 31 uh, superscript prefix and a 15 subscript prefix to a capital P. This is the symbology of uh, the isotope, the way it is symbolized. Um, of the, the, for this P, for the 3115 isotope of phosphorus, there are, and you are instructed to fill in the bubble corresponding to the correct answer. And this is pretty much a gimme question, so everybody should be able to nail it. Um, all it's asking is, <clears throat> what do the uh, su superscript and subscript refer to? Understanding that uh, is going to lead to the answer, and so 15, the, the subscript, is called the atomic number, and this is what distinguishes things as uh, an element, uh, and that is the number of protons in the nucleus. And the 31 corresponds to the number of particles in the nucleus. This would be protons and neutrons, specifically. And so, uh, it, the, the number of protons and the number of neutrons add up to 31, and the number of protons is 15. And so, this it, problem 19, how many, uh, 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 A, 31 protons, B, 18 protons, C, 16 protons, or D, 15 protons. So, we now know that uh, that's the proper response. Now, for 20, there are A, 31 neutrons, B, 18 neutrons, C, 16 neutrons, or D, 15 neutrons. Well, the number of neutrons is going to be equal to the uh, uh, atomic mass number, which, by the way, is the superscript prefix. The atomic number is the uh, 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 subscript prefix, and it, it, it denotes, like I said, the number of protons, the atomic mass number is the uh, uh, superscript prefix, and that's 31, which is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So if you subtract the number of protons from the atomic mass number, you get the number of neutrons. Very simple. So 31 minus 15 is? 16. So C is the correct response for that question. Now, 21. There are 31 electrons in a neutral atom, 18 electrons in a neutral atom, 16 electrons, which is C, uh, B is 18 electrons, C is 16 electrons in a neutral atom, and D is 15 electrons in a neutral atom. Well, for an atom to be neutral, the charge on an electron is equal and opposite to the charge on a proton. So there has to be the exact same number of electrons as protons in the nucleus. The neutrons are neutral. And so there are 15 protons in the nucleus, as determined by the atomic number, and there has to be the same number of electrons in a neutral atom. And so that answers number 20. Now, for number 22, I mean, that was number 21, sorry. And for number 22, there are A, 31 electrons in the 3 minus anion, B, 18 electrons in the 3 minus anion, C, 16 electrons in the 3 minus anion, or D, 15 electrons in the 3 minus anion. Well, a couple of things should become self-evident from this question. One is an anion has a negative charge, and the magnitude of that charge in this particular case is 3. So that means what, is the, what are the carriers of the negative charge? They're the electrons. So in this case, there has to be an excess of 3 electrons in the atom in order to give it a 3 minus charge. And since the number of protons in the nucleus is 15, you have to add 3 to 15 to come up with the number of electrons needed 
to provide uh, or to produce a three minus anion. And in this case, that would be fifteen plus three is eighteen electrons. And that answers number nineteen through twenty-two.